On second thought, it's not exactly like Animal Crossing. The NPCs have a bit more to say. Oh! Alright, shade aside, welcome back to a short hike. Previously, we traveled across the mountain base. Found an abandoned building. Raced an eagle. Met an artist raccoon who was apparently at the lighthouse by now. Yeah, he was right there. And we found many, many treasures, including golden feathers. Oh, and also we have a ranger hat. And we had toast. Temporal toast. So there's a few more places to check out. Here on the base, at least. We saw some islands last time. Also, the abandoned building had something for us. I knew I sensed something hidden. It was pretty well hidden, too. It's not even quite at the abandoned building. Well, that's where we uh, saw Avery's sign. She's into some kind of bird parkour. I know the abandoned building has to be around here somewhere. I think it's around the mountain a bit more. We need more golden feathers so we could climb better. This looks like a prospective spot. Ah, I see a chest over there. Hey, it's a golden feather! On top of a stone tower. There must have been some medieval castles here. Considering it's Canada, they're probably French castles. Good creek path! It's better than the regular creek path. Also, Royal Ridge! So that's where we explored last time. There must be an abandoned building there. There is an abandoned building there. That must. Yeah, this place is looking familiar. There's the abandoned building. We didn't check, um... Right there. Right into forest screen. You guys saw it. Good eye. It's another treasure map. We got one last time. We talked about a lighthouse. We should read the new one. This is the old one. South of the Stone Tower. Hey, we just saw that. Across the bridge. A lonely seat on Royal Ridge. Well, we need to cross the bridge now. There's the Stone Tower. Where's that bridge? There's the bridge. Man, that bridge must be ancient then. Ooh, Golden Feather spotted. They're even out in the world, just hanging out. There's a few of those. So, a lonely seat on Royal Ridge. That looks like a chair. Shovel time! It's coins! Ancient coins! Good job, Claire. I see a shell down there, too. This doesn't really look like much of a seat. It kind of looks like a baby chair. It belongs to King Goo Goo Gaga. You know Goo Goo Gaga? That's the lamest joke I will tell all year. You're welcome. Yep, there's treasure maps hidden in treasure chests. Namely, that treasure map, and the other one we found. We're close to something else, too, so we're gonna break our base law a little bit. Because Outlook points around here somewhere. It's the Blackwood Trail. I could have sworn Outlook points around here. Oh, there's a visitor center. They still don't have any strawberries. There's a um, rumor crocodile. Oh, he had no eyes for a second. Hydration dog. Not much to see here, except places we've already been. Something hanging out out there. That looks promising. We do need to find that island, the new island. I think we could take the shortcut and get closer. More interesting NPCs we could talk to over there. But I'm looking for that cave that we opened last time with our pickaxe. There it is. We're gonna go to the back end of the mountain. The southern part. Southeastern part, more accurately. 
So it's along this way somewhere. Also, we got a bonus pickaxe. Now we have two of them. Just in case one breaks. It'll never break. It's not like Minecraft or something. Don't even build buildings in this game anyway. We should really work on Claire's running speed, too. Somebody says something about Pegasus boots. So this is new. The Orange Islands. I'm sure there's plenty of things to do here. More treasures to find. The or islands are very orange around here. Huh. There's a boat. How much coin do we got? Plenty of coin. We'll get back to the boat in a hot second. We could rent a boat for today. I'm sure. I mean, it's available. That coin was kind of lousy. Looks like a few boats around here, but people have them out. Doing boating adventures. Ah, hey! Bucket! Which means we could fill Bucket with water. And pour it on plants. And we could get extra high. The Helianthus Dysolantus. The rubber flower. The official flower of Hawk Peak. It inflates like a water balloon. I already did that. Oh. Alright, well, we're, we're gonna have to be honest with that. So Claire can't fly, well, very well with a bucket of water. But she can jump with it. A little bit. And glide a little bit. But hey, if we ever need a launch, we got just the thing. Like that. Hey, there's another one of them. We'll use this to great effect. Sometimes they don't launch you right away. Hmm. Stone arches means treasure. A map! Oh, which is Map City today? Okay. We're going on a treasure hunt. A stormy view. A stormy hilltop. I think I've seen one of those. Earthy window. Gold is hidden in the blue. I think I remember seeing an earthy window. It's actually pretty close by. But coin. We have coin. Plenty coin. I remember seeing a ring of stones somewhere. It had a coin on top of it. I think that might be the earthy window they're talking about. It was close to the cemetery. I mean, we got the storminess going on. We must be close. We could just take a flying leap from where we had that telescope thing from before, and we could probably find it. There's Avery again. We got her medal. You know that it was just a coin, right? Of course she does. Alright, it was off in this direction somewhere. We'll take a bird's eye view of the situation. There it is. That's the earthy window. We were pointed straight at it, so it pointed in like this direction. And it said gold is hidden in the blue. There's the gold. Plenty of it. Hey, 256. That's the bitrate limit, isn't it? We could carry much more coin than that, though. I know there's another island around here somewhere, too. We could always rent a boat and go looking for it. Are you okay? Are you turning into a zombie? I've been playing Seven Days to Die. That makes me nervous. Yes, it's been in, like, early access for, like, seven years. It's kind of like Fallout meets Minecraft and zombies. Oh, no! Get a bucket of water, quick! Oh, that's less fatal. I think it's terminal.
Oh, we could ride the boat. So guess what? Bad luck for you. He's five minutes older, technically he's right. Oh, you're a Twitter person. I'm less inclined to take you out on a boat now. Ah, angsty teenagers. You'll never get to ride the boat. We will sink the boat before you get to ride it. Claire, do you happen to know, like, everybody in this park? They seem to know your name. Well, you should be worried about, like, income. Well, we're booking it. A hundred coins? Well, I mean, they do come out of the ground, so I'm not surprised. We're gonna take the boat. This is a brand new update they added when this switch came out. These islands didn't exist, this boat didn't exist. And now we have it. The boat that doesn't exist. Yeah! Sure! Alright, thank you for a Manuel. We're not gonna read the Manuel. Hey kid. We have boat. Do you want boat? Stop being so melodramatic and get in the boat already. We're taking you out for a spin. We're for real. You're just so miserable looking. We have to help you out a little bit. You're welcome. So you got that life jacket, right? Well, now we got a boat. Wow, that's a fast boat. Also, it's funky handling. It's weird to handle. Oh, I see money. We're taking a little detour, kid. Which is the white button on this controller. We gotta make up for that boat. Now you have the boat for like pretty much the rest of the day, but it's got some weird control issues. Like, front keeps on changing. The forward keeps changing. You kind of have to, like, spin your control stick around if you want to change direction. It's weird. Also, I see a Korok up here. Just don't mind us. This is a regular thing. More money! Now we could buy two boats. That, again. The boat is weird until you get to start moving, and then you have to, like, readjust for the boat. We're good now. Where's that other island at? I saw one with, like, a vent on it. Like an updraft. A volcano, a geyser, something like that. I want to go check out that island. Oh, speaking of which, there it is! It was right next door this whole time. Oh, and I see treasure. There must be another island, because I remember more geysers being around here. The boat's paying for itself already. Yeah, it seems like once you boost it by holding the A button, it controls a little bit better. So, this might go against common sense thinking, but boost right out of the gate. Oh, hey! You look like somebody from an anime. He looks like he belongs to pirates. Like a doctor. Humans, am I right? We can help you with the garbage. Little side quest. Hey, kid, you could learn some responsibility by helping us pick up this garbage, too. You don't need to stay in the boat all the time. I mean, he's a deer, too. You should be helping it out because of camaraderie. Don't worry, we got this.
Pick up your peckin' trash! Uh, any prize for this? Oh, it wasn't a pirate hat after all. It's some kind of sun hat. That is pretty cool. You can just make a hat. Can you make a fedora? For Claire? Uh, how much are they? Let me guess. A hundred coins. hundred coins, huh? Claire, you would not want to pay more. We're paying for a hundred coins. You could end up paying more than a hundred coins for a hat. But heck with it. There's plenty of treasure around this place. I'm sure. It's a pretty good quality hat. I mean, look, it's not even tattering around the horns or anything. Done being a ranger. Now we got a sun hat. Even though it's not too practical in autumn. Any more islands around here we could check out? Ah, there's that other island with the vent on it. The, I keep on calling it everything but what it is. Any treasure around here? Something tells me this island existed before the Orange Islands. I want to try to do the launch thing. You kind of land on the chest. Speedrunners are better at it than I am. If you stand on top of the chest and open it, you can get a launch. I did it once before. Yeah, this must be the island we saw because look. There's the tele telescope thing. What do they call those? Those are just the telescopes, right? That's what they're called? I thought they were called something different when you have to pay for them. Yay, free money! Another Korok! And we got 15 shells, too. We could go do that quest. Hi, Tukan fella. Oh, really? Well, we know how to die if I've done it. But we might as well get the tutorial for everybody else. Gotta be gliding. Of course, you're in the air. Can't dive on the ground. And once you're high enough, don't do anything. And you'll go straight down. Remember to keep on gliding while you're doing this. So you can get a lot of speed with a really good dive. So that's what I was doing during the race with Avery, is I was pulling off dives to go faster. Can I, like, get a dive going? And now you're extra fast! Turning kinda messes with the speed, though. You do eventually lose it. Unless you do another dive. And now I don't remember where the boat is. It's around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Oh, we're done with our island adventures for one day. How do you feel about all this? Ah, right, we used a booster. Probably because he's responsible. This kid has a boating challenge! Well, he's lame. Yeah, sure, why not? Kinda got the hang of the boat now. Claire keeps on doing the stanky leg. But what are you going to set up? We are very far away from the boat. Also, Claire is kind of phasing into the kid. What are you doing? You're merging! She has some germ things going on, I think. I just think that's just regular crow. So it's a slalom course. What do we win? I guess we'll find out when we win. Alright. Time for the boat race! Let's not crash into anything. That's very irresponsible. You can also do power slides. If you hit an island just right, you could kind of launch yourself, and I'm really wondering if you could just launch yourself right out of the water and onto dry land. 
Of course, I'm not going to do that here. It's not conducive to boating. Also, these flags are very generous. I'm going to sneak through here. And off the ramp! Yeah! This is awesome! Oh, that was a ramp. You sure that was safe? That is not a happy noise. Oh no, did we break the boat? It kinda. It sounds clunky now. I'm sure it's nothing. I think it's something. I really think it's something. No, nothing, nothing sounds right with this boat right now. That's what I was hoping. You should have made a boat safe. How are we going to get our deposit? I don't think that's going to happen, but now I'm worried. Well, we certainly can't do that now, can we? Oh no, dad disappointment. Anybody else who works on boats? Anybody, like, on this screen currently? That knows anything about boats at all? Luckily, we were fortunate enough to just cruise right on over to the guy that can fix our boat. It's this dude. Uh, we have boat problems. I know they're not fish-related, but can you help? He should. He owns a boat. How about the explosions? Well, they're saying cuss words at us right now. Is this going to cost us anything? Wow, you work fast. How would that cause the engine to go clickety-clank like that? I guess we really shouldn't ask questions about it. He is the boat expert. Oh, uh, should we tell him? Yeah, he's irresponsible. We should tell him. What kind of boats are built for that kind of action, to be honest? Hydroplanes? That's gonna require some work, and I don't think we could afford it. Not even with all the treasure on this island. This is kind of a rental. Alright, well, at least he's selectively lazy. And our boat's back to normal. Good thing, too. Because we need to retake that course. Maybe without the ramp this time. Yeah, sure. Let's not do the cool thing, though. Even though it was absolutely cool. We don't want to bend another prop. Also, Claire, you're phasing into the kid again. What, what are you doing? 
Stop doing that. Claire is becoming Molnir. Yay! Safe boating practices! Don't hit rocks. Also, negative 60 seconds if you go off a ramp. So, don't crash into things this time. But still go fast. It's important to still go fast. Two minute loss still applies. Maybe I shouldn't try doing that little shortcut thing near the ramp. You know, that little inlet. This is kind of a tight squeeze. You thread the needle a little bit. You know what? We need some action. I'm trying for it. That didn't count. We didn't get negative 10 seconds there. Perfect score! 41 seconds! I think I've gotten 39 before. Oh, oh we did get a penalty. He counted that. We're still the best at everything. Well, we got the wing, but... You know, customary. Another golden feather! That's right, this bonus content has a bonus golden feather. It used to be 19, or that golden feather was somewhere else, I forget. So we're pretty much done with the boat, really. Pretty much done with the base, really, except for one thing. Yeah, I keep on forgetting it, but I'll leave it for next time. I knew it! I knew it! That totally bends a rotor. We busted the boat again. We're gonna need uh, that dude to fix it. Yeah, that's the content that I didn't get to yet. Right there. So there's a little spoiler for next time. And then we could climb more of the mountain. But us, we're just gonna enjoy some swelling Wind Waker music. I don't remember this song being in the game, but I like it. Oh! We ran aground, Captain! What's this? I was enjoying music. Oh. That's the mysterious island. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to take our boat here later. We'll crash right into it a few times. We'll remember it's there. Next time on a short hike. More adventure. Good night, folks.